Hey everybody, welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, we have got a colony full of pretty much just angry people. Like, I'm even, I'm surprised that they even s survive, to be honest with you. Uh, final, hey look, Desiree is finally obedient, so we can work on hauling. It seems to be taking quite a while. Um, I've got to get my, my freezer figured out here. And I think I figured out what's causing the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear some of these zones right here. Luckless should then haul this. If we, we have him set to primarily hauling, right? Yeah. So he should get this out of the way. And the other thing is that look where our animals go. All they do, they just walk back and forth. Back and forth. Um, this is a bit of a problem. Oh, rare thrombos. Oh, man. Peaceful by nature, these rare creatures are extremely dangerous when confronted. Some traders are willing to pay a lot of money for their precious leather and horn. Thrombos will leave the area in a few days. Now, I can't, I can't take this thing down. I just can't. Uh, they're super strong. And we're not there yet. At all. We only have, like, what do we have? The survival rifle. The pistol. The pump shotgun. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. It could be worse, but it's just not quite what it needs to be. Um, I kind of want to pull... You know what? Let's let's reorganize a few things here. I've got to get this gone or uh, cancelled. Cancel. Let's make sure these are all cancelled. I don't need him lugging rocks around right now. Uh, what he's busy doing a lot of is hauling corn. And I guess that's okay. But um, the bigger problem that we're having is that our animals are going back and forth through here. And what I'm also thinking is that these vents are actually causing us to lose... Um, causing us to lose the, the, the cool air, obviously. And it's like super hot, so that kind of makes sense. Um, so I'm going to deconstruct these, and I'm going to hope, this little pop-up here, by the way, this is, um, showing your room stats. I turned that on to see how these rooms are. Um, it's a little bit obtrusive when it's always on, but we can kind of look into that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to micromanage Kayleek just a little bit here, and get these deconstructed. Maybe? If she's playing chess and now resting. Alright, we'll do that tomorrow, I guess. I don't know why these are set. Whoa, shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kaylee, Kaylee, we got a problem. We got a big problem. Prisoner, prisoner is free because... Um, I might not have to wake her up. Who else is constructing? Uh, tracer, Tracer. Building sandbags. Can I get you to get over here and make this wall, like, stat? Okay, and now Heretic, I'm going to go ahead and hope that you warden this chick back to her bed, which is not set for prisoners for some reason. What the hell? Oh no. Oh no, what if she just walks away? Shit. This is a problem. Uh, okay, Heretic, you're going to be pissed in the morning. Oh, this is not good. I'm going to drop these down and see if I can trick him into wardening for me right now. Let's bring him out. Okay, right about there. Nope. He's too tired. Well, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. How's the temperature? Oh, yeah, now, see? Oh, look at that. Yeah, now the temperature's totally cool. So it was those vents that was actually causing us to lose all of that heat. When it's open like this... Oh, but that's the problem. Is when it's open like this, Luckless is probably freezing. Joy-deprived, disturbed sleep, very cold. Yeah, we're in a bit of a situation. We gotta get this figured out, like, ASAP here. At least our prisoner's not leaving. I mean, that's a good sign. 
so... Oh, he's gonna be sick. Hypothermia! Oh, not good. Not good. Let's... <laughs> Let's do this. Let's flick these off for a second. They should all prioritize that. Okay. Yes, this temperature is going to go up. That's fine. I just need Luckless to literally not die. Okay, let's switch this back now. We should be okay. Now, let's go ahead and set up one of our uh, turrets to be built. Need steel and components. Let's start with building one up here. Uh, how are we doing for steel? Not that great. We have some here, and that's enough. That's more than enough to build this. So we need 175. This is a ton of steel here. What we need... Oh, that's right, we set all of our traps here. Oh, it's beautiful. This is a bunch of steel that we could chunk out. Um, but what we need is these things. So who's set to mining right now? Uh, tracer after construction. You know what? Let's get you doing this. Okay. Why don't you just go and eat then? Why don't we do that? A poison gardener from Old Man's Hamlet is passing by. His name is Ian Braddock. A poison gardener? He's a botanist. He's incapable of literally anything but growing plants. Interesting. Young dude, too. There's like nothing we can do with these people that just pass by, as far as I can tell, anyways. What are we working on? Colored lights? That's good. Do we have... We're gonna... So, I'm looking at this. It's a tenth of summer. We're heading into winter. And I'm gonna need to make some, like... She's making button-down shirts. This is good. But we're gonna need parkas, I think. We're gonna need to get these going. She's back in where she should be. Luckless is hauling cloth. That's fine. Got a nice little chunk of uh, cloth coming in. I'm just going to clean up this room a bit. Let's get all this dirt out of here. Get the blood. More blood. More blood. More blood. <laughs> More blood. Looks like there's blood under there. There is. Okay. Animal starvation. Oh, shit. Uh, animal starvation. Okay, I'll tell you what, animals. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you access to this again, okay? We've got the temperature regulated because I don't have those vents in there. Um, animals, I'm gonna say you can go in here. I'm trusting you with the food. Go and eat. Go and eat. Now, we don't have, like, a ton of, uh, whoops, let's close this out. We don't have a ton of meals. Do we even have any meals cooked? I don't think we have any meals cooked. Critical, normal, normal. Uh, let's bump these up a bit. Too important. Let's drop, uh, maybe, you know what, let's do that one as important. These ones on critical. And we gotta get some we gotta get some meals going. Critical. It's just the problem is that Vinny is so busy growing shit like all the time. Uh, we could maybe assign somebody else to cooking, but he's by far the best at it, and he's the most interested in it. So I'm going to actually bump that up. He'll grow, but we got to get this cooking happening. Now, what do we have here? Uh, the shirt. Well, we'll get to it, I guess. One of the things that we can do is we can try and make this a little bit more efficient. I'm going to build some stools around him. And that should make him so he doesn't even have to, like, move, really. He'll just power through cooking. He's eating berries. Researching. That's good. That's good. We do have our one turret up already. 
let's go ahead and run some power. Beautiful. Uh, we've got a bunch of steel left. Let's make another turret. I'm just trying to like maximize coverage to start. Let's do one there. I actually think that we need another, uh, another little, what do I want to call it here? Bunker up here. So let's build this out. Put a wall in there and we'll copy this, drop it in. And what we can do is once these pillars are built, we can actually put roofs over top. If we put a roof over top, they get uh, shade, which makes it harder to hit whatever's inside. So if we put people in there, that's cool. If the turret's in there, I think it still works. Yep, right here, need, look at this. Okay, needs warm clothes. At least two of your colonists will lack warm clothes when the cold season comes. The outdoor temperature is going to reach one degrees. You can tailor warm clothes at the tailoring bench or buy them from traders. Jump to the problem. K-Leak is the problem. Yeah, I, the problem is... What's the real problem? We need 120 ingredients to be able to make um, this stuff. And I don't have 120 of anything, even cloth. This stuff is still growing. Okay, we're gonna need to hunt. Not gonna hunt the thrombo. Maybe muffalo, they're big. <laughs> Maybe these things? What do we have down here? Does, bucks, so deer. Maybe we gotta hunt the muffalos. Do we have any others? I'm not seeing it, but... We've got to try. There's a Megatherium here. It's a type of ground sloth. They're giant solitary herbivores, long extinct after being wiped out by the natives of Earth's... Natives of Earth's America continent. The uh, ground sloths were later brought back using advanced cloning and artificial gestators. I mean... It's pretty wild, though. That makes me nervous if we were to try and uh, take it down. So, how are we doing up here with you? Rejecting the offer, but, you know, you, you're into Heretic. That's fine. Let's check everybody's temperatures here. Indoors, we're cool. 10 degrees, 10 degrees. Everybody's happy. While they're sleeping, is there anything we can do? Joy deprived. You know what? We can fix that right up there, Luckles. For some reason I don't have you on a schedule. That's probably, you're probably just jealous. Uh, so let's see. We could have you working a little earlier. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's do this. Let's back this off. We're gonna have you go to sleep uh, one hour before everybody. And we'll just kind of mirror this. Have a little joy time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anything for a bit. You can get in with the group joy time. And then I'll put you one more hour of joy before bed. How's that, Bucko? I'm gonna put you for an extra hour of work though. So it's so it's balanced. Now let's check this out. Let's actually maybe prioritize. We have the pants. What's with this? The dry thunderstorm. Dangerous because the lightning can start fires and there's no rain to put them out. Awesome. That's... That sounds pleasant. Raccoon meat rotted away? Wait, why? Why did the raccoon meat rot away? In storage. What the hell? This is minus 20. That's probably even too cold. Let's just set this to... Let's do like minus 15 with the doors opening and stuff from the animals. It's using a lot of power, but we seem to be maintaining power pretty well. Good job, K-Leak. Let's follow this. Hey! 
Heretic successfully recruited Maskinen. 5.5% chance. Well, great job. Maskinen, welcome to the team. Uh, this is no longer going to be a medical bed. This will, in fact, be your bed, Maskinen. And let's, uh, let's understand you a little bit. So you were a slave farmer. Abandoned as a little girl, Maskinen was found by a farmer. Being infertile herself, or himself, the farmer kept her as a slave. Seems good. Uh, the constant beatings left her scarred and unable to handle violence. After many years, she ran away. I understand. And then she grew up to be a rocket engineer. So, uh, Maskinen won... One got... One or got a grant to a top school and earned a degree in rocket engineering. After several years working for a space mining company, she left to travel and see the universe. That's actually really cool. So... Um, we need to rename you, and the next person that I have in line of my, uh, friends who volunteered for this is... is... Jazz Parks. So, welcome Jazz Parks. You are our newest colonist, who's pretty much just gonna be building things. Which means we could kind of free up, uh, Tracer to maybe do some more mining and plant cutting. We'll set all of these to one, except for doctoring. As crazy as it sounds, Luckless could do some doctoring if need be. Uh, everybody on flicking, no wardening. You could handle as well. Eh, let's leave that for Tracer. So you, we want you constructing, like that's your top, that's your more, most important thing in the world. Uh, repairing we can do as a one for sure. Growing, you can help out when needed. Mining, after, uh, constructing, you can mine, which you're decent at. And let's see what else you have here. Uh, you can haul as well after mining. I don't think we need Luckless on two for, or on, uh, cleaning as a top priority. And your research skills are actually not bad, but Tracer and, uh, and Heretic outdo you significantly, so... This is good. That's good. That's gonna take some of the pressure off, uh, off Kaleek. Now, we don't have a lot to build at the moment, except for this stuff, uh, which it looks like you're gonna go and do. Hauling steel to the turret. What I'd like you to do is get steel for these power conduits, but... I'm not gonna be picky. Research finished colored lights. Allows colonists to construct colored lights for decorative purposes. Okay. Cool. So... How do I do this? Is this... Under furniture? Standing lamps red? Let's see. Lights in area in red. Lights an area in green. It doesn't say that it has, like, any type of, um, beauty factor. You know, that's kind of what I was hoping for. But I guess maybe not. Now, should I get into tube television or carpet making? Just for some joy, to make these places a little bit nicer. Maybe carpets? Or we could start on drug production. Allows creation of the drug lab. Further research is required to make specific drugs. I just don't know if we're going to be able to maintain it yet. You know, we're still kind of in survival mode. And it sounds crazy that I want to make carpets in survival mode, but I think it'll keep them happier if we can increase the quality of their environments. Um, brewing, maybe we can make beers. I think I'm going to do carpets. It sounds crazy, and it probably is. But... Leathers? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? I'm not digging these storms, guys. I'm not digging it. Fire, fire, fire! The team will go. It's fine. I, I believe in them. Okay, Luckless is freaking out a little bit. 
So, slept in the cold. Why? Really need some heaters? What's your deal? You're good for minus two to 42. Where are you sleeping that you're sleeping in the cold? It's 20 degrees in there. I don't believe it. We're gonna have to keep an eye on him, I guess. It's probably just because you're a psychopath. Maybe, maybe he had it from before when we were deconstructing these rooms, but... Uh, let's see. How's this going? We need components. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Team, everybody up. They're on it. They're on it. Fault in electric conduit has caused a short circuit. We lost all of our energy. Oh, my God, guys. Go, go. Repair, repair. They'll do repairs. It's fine. I believe in them. Oh my god. Is this a home zone? Yes, it is. They're gonna go. Party? Luckless, this is not the fucking time for party, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ugh. We have fires and it's a storm. He's like, oh, let's just throw a party. I swear to God, this is intentional at this point. Okay. Can we get this hold? That's like your one job, Luckless. You're attending the party, of course. What's your work schedule like? Uh, what time is it? 2300? You're supposed to be asleep. Whatever. They're gonna be happy, so that's fine. Let's, uh, let's set up jazz parks here. You can just mirror Vinny, honestly. I think this works. Do a little bit like so. The party is finished. Temperature inside, minus 15. Okay, in the morning... Oh, Jazz is building. Nice. Hello. Good job. Let's get some power up there. And then when they wake up, hopefully this is like a top priority for them. How's plant cutting? We've got to kind of micro that probably a bit more. Let's set uh, Jazz Parks on it as well, because it seems to be like the last thing that these guys do. I'm- I'm really concerned. This thrumbo, watch him just come in here and start ripping shit apart. 120 of anything. Well... We've got muffalo leather, we've got cotton. This stuff's almost grown. I just can't believe that we don't have that much stuff. You know? What's Vinny doing? Okay, you're cooking. Can I actually get you to butcher this animal? Gives us 41 muffalo leather. That's still not enough. That is not enough. Hmm. Well, looks like we're gonna have to hunt a lot, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got power up to this turret. I should probably try and build another one down here. We've got our compact and machinery set for mining. Let's go ahead and get these other ones now that we see them. Same there. Tracer's looking good. Wait, cargo pods. No! Shit. Where'd the cargo pods go? Oh no. Now I've got to look for them. What did it drop? Hey, we've got, uh... 
medicine up here. Somehow. Wonder if that's what dropped. No, this is so bad. I wish there was a way to bring those back. Oh, here we go. Drop steel. That's actually, I'm assuming, or maybe that's just there. Ah, here we go. Chocolate. Oh my god. This could be good, right? Delicious preparation of cocoa seeds ground together with sugar and vanilla. Very, very pleasurable to eat, but not very nutritious. Gives, uh, gives people joy. I don't know what gluttonous means. But, I think that's okay. Okay, so this food that's sitting here, it's in the stockpile zone. And this is set as critical. So it's not going to get moved into there. I'm going to set this as important. Um, we'll set this one back to critical. Okay, here. Cargo pods. Oh, nice. Just dropping food from the sky. Can we do that more often, please? Thanks. That would be great. I'm going to get him doing this right away. He's hauling simple meals. Let's get you to do this. I know you're in joy time, but it's too bad. Okay, and then grab this fine meal. Nice thing about the fine meals is that they're gonna give more, um, more happiness. So I could even add a bill here and Let's do, what the frick? Let's do until we have, let's say 30 fine meals now. And fine meals, um, they have to use meat, I think. Is that what the difference is? Yeah, so we can do, here's what we'll do. Let's say we don't want to use meat in the simple meals anymore. And in the fine meals, obviously we're going to use meat and, uh, and veggies, because I think you have to. And then that'll make people happier. That should work. What's Luckless doing? Resting. Classic. Got a psychic drone. Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. So, if we see here, Psychic Drone, minus 15. Thank God Luckless had that party. I hate to say it, but that's actually helping. Look, attended party, it's offsetting the drone. That is actually legit. Now you, you're psychically deaf, so it's not, imp it's not impacting Tracer at all. That's awesome. Okay, Luckless, good job. I'll give you that. You did something good. Digging at compact machinery. This is good. Working super hard. Uh, we're going to have to get some power up. I want to see these turrets in action. Man, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. Colonists will automatically try to wear the newest, highest quality apparel they can. You don't need to manually assign each piece of apparel to colonists, but you can if you wish. To assign colonists restrictions on how to dress, open the Assign tab. Use the Manage Outfits dialog box. Okay. Fire preparation. Fires can easily burn down a colony. Instead of constructing one super building, build separate buildings with spaces in between. Use less flammable materials. Wood is cheap and fast, but flammable. Build fire breaks to stop wildfires approaching your base. A strip of concrete floors three or four cells wide will generally stop an advancing fire you can build like a, a cement like moat kind of thing that'd be cool okay kaylee you're relaxing Vinny is consuming food how are we doing up here we still got a lot of mining to do but it's good that we've prioritized this stuff because we need it for all of our projects that we're trying to build. Uh, the steel w is here. It's not the end of the world. She just has to work on it. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? I've got those colored lights, but I'm not sure that it's going to do anything. You know, like, we could try it. Let's, let's, let's do an experiment here. So, room display. So, this is like, minus 119. It's repulsive, probably because there's shit all over the place. Beauty is hideous. Um... Let's see. Well, first of all, let's try cleaning it. So, luckless. What I'm gonna have you do is I'll actually move you off of hauling for right now, and you're just gonna clean today. Just clean everything. Everything that's in our home zone anyway, which is, you know, basically just this place. How are our beds? Normal, normal, awful, awful. I'm actually gonna try and get some better beds. We do have herbal medicine here. Spoils in two years, one season. So if that spoils, why don't we store uh, medicine in here? We just need the herbal meds, honestly. How's our dog training going? Two out of eight. Okay, we're getting there. I'm concerned these parkas are going to be a problem. Uh... We just don't have enough material. These are ready to be harvested. So maybe we can make enough out of cotton, but it's gonna be tight. Okay, so this room now, it's less dirty. It's actually, it's up to dull already. So that's cool, let's try now and see, um, let's make this blue. Let's deconstruct this, make a copy of this one. And once that's deconstructed, we'll see if that has a positive impact. The one thing I'm really happy about is heading into winter, we have a ton of clothes, or a ton of food. Um, but people are in shitty apparel, and we haven't had a trader come by for a long time. I'm just not 100% sure on the best way to try and get more materials. Like, 120 ingredients is a lot. You know, I could maybe boost this radius up in case there's stuff that's, like, laying out there. But if I look at this... Yeah, we need materials. Like, that's not gonna work. So we either need to just hunt more, or get that... get that stuff grown. Why do we have no power there? Oh, because these aren't completed. Do we have enough steel? Oh, I bet you we're all out of steel, aren't we? Oh my god. We are all out of steel. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get that fixed up. My god, there's so much stuff to, like, micromanage. Steel, steel. Uh, like our little death trap here. Mine out a little bit behind that. I think we need to prioritize somebody on plant cutting. It sucks, but, like... Who could do this? You're handling, you're mining, you're then you're plant cutting. Luckless is... Yeah, I don't want you on cooking. Just, just Finny cooks. Finny cooks and grows. That's his deal. And then he, like, makes rocks. Um... Luckless could cut plants. Let's do that. You cut plants, then you hunt. I don't want you growing. Vinny's gonna do all of that. Then you haul. Because I think if we can have people more dedicated to certain roles, um, 
At least in my opinion, I think it's probably a lot more efficient. But... That's just my opinion. I can't say that for fact. Escape pods. You detect an escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anybody survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. You can rescue them and send them on their way, or capture them for recruitment or slavery. Hello. Setsuko, please be awesome. A gardener. Uh oh, Vinny's not gonna like this. Oh, Vinny is not gonna like this at all. You can do other things though. You can construct. Mining skill's not bad. Um, we'll get into your backstory once you're successfully recruited. Like, having two people growing maybe isn't a bad idea, and I know that totally contradicts what I just said. But I think Vinny spends so much time on growing. You know, if we look at it, like... I guess his cooking should take priority, which it seems to be doing. We actually have to expand this a little bit. This is getting full. So I could just bust it out over this way a little bit. Um, this is getting held up quite heavily because we're mining out all of this compact machinery and steel for the projects that we're trying to build to just defend our home right now. Um, but that actually, that's actually going okay. Like, it's not that bad. It's really not. Um, we just have to decide how we want to handle this person. What's your health like? Gunshot? Oh, God. She's got clothes, though. Like, oh, that's part of, like, my decision-making process. I don't know. I think we- I think we should rescue her. But we gotta- we gotta get up in here and start getting our bedrooms and- and all of that moved inside. We're hitting winter, like, right away. We have no parkas, which totally freaks me out. Uh, you know what? We have pants here. That shouldn't be tattered. So maybe what we'll do is, uh, we'll pr get them to strip down, and then hopefully they go and grab the better clothes. You know? We have medicine set in here now, so that should get moved. Uh, Luckless should do that after plant cutting. Actually, he, that's going to be low on the totem pole for him now. No, that's not true. Only if we've marked something as hunting. So, that's fine. Okay, we've got a lot to do. Um, we'll take a break now. When we come back, these guys have to sleep through the night anyway. When we come back, we will uh, capture Setsuko and put her in here. I'm gonna have to expand our bedrooms, and I'm just gonna build, like, rows out this way, I think. Um, is Vinny still jealous? Probably. No! Vinny is not jealous. Okay, cool. Uh, this is going okay. This is going okay. We might have another colonist join us. We're getting, you know, it's a lot of colonists. We've got food stored, but, um, you know, I think it could be okay. We also have clothes here, which could be worn. The quality's shit, though. So maybe that counts as, um, tattered. Isn't so badly damaged. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. If we look at his clothes, uh, poor, 35%. So wearing that other stuff isn't gonna help. But these, at least, like, the quality's shitty, but the, they're not tattered, like the, you know, well, this one is. But you know what I'm saying. Maybe, 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 maybe we only have one pair of pants that could be worn, but it's better than nothing. Anyways, every time I try to end, there's like a million other things I want to try and do, but I'm not going to do that now. So, we'll see you guys next time. Wish me luck. Okay, thanks, bye.